Well, in this little video clip, I'm little video clip, I'm going to talk about the Farsi keyboard keyboard called Baharain or Baharon, and it's uh, downloaded from Parsis.dk. You might notice out here on the desktop, I downloaded the zip file and unzipped it. So now I have a folder on the desktop. Now the problem is that Windows Vista and Windows 7 will not accept this installable file. But there's something that you can do. This is the executable file. Right click on it and then click on Troubleshoot Compatibility. What Windows will now do is analyze the program and make some settings, some new settings to make the program compatible with Windows 7. So it's done that. And now we're going to say start the program. And notice down the bottom here the program started and it actually uh, was successful in installing this Farsi Bahrain keyboard. Now it's asking me if I want to remove or repair it. So uh, I can either say repair, it'll reinstall it. And see, it says now that the Farsi Bahrain keyboard, the installation is complete. So I can click close. And here on the Windows compatibility window, I will say next. And yes, I will save these settings. Don't worry about what it says here. It's it's working fine. It should work. Click on the close button. Now I'll close the folder. So what we've done is we've installed the software needed for this special keyboard in Windows, but we still need to go in and activate that special keyboard. So let's see how we do that. It's quite easy. It's again in the control panel. So start button, control panel. You go over to Clock, Language and Region, click on Change Keyboards. In the Change Keyboard section, click on Change Keyboards. And notice, like we did before, we had installed the normal Farsi keyboard or Persian keyboard. Now we're going to add the new Farsi Bahrain keyboard. We'll click on the Add button. And there's a very long list of different languages. Go all the way down to Persian and look for the very first time there is the Farsi Bahrain keyboard available put a tick in that box and what I'd suggest is removing the normal Persian keyboard so remove that one and click OK notice here now that the Persian keyboard is the Farsi Bahrain keyboard click OK and click OK close the control panel good now I'm back in WordPad and I will try using the new Farsi Bahrain keyboard go down I'll click on Farsi Persian and then I'll just write and this is working very well now the f easy to use Farsi Bahrain keyboard. Let me make that a little bit larger for you to see. Salam mandan hastam. Ali. Well, I hope that you found this information helpful.